hi everyone so welcome to today's class so yesterday we have seen the purchase info record right we have uh, seen the like uh, background settings of the purchase info record we have created a purchase info record so there is one more thing was left let me just finish that one then we can go for the uh, quota arrangement record okay so slash nme 11 is the t code where we can create an info record so here we have seen or we have discussed that you can create an info record with a material master or without a material master also you can create a purchase info record so how you can create a purchase info record without a material just remove this material okay just remove this material click on okay now here the material group is mandatory you have to give a material group number over here okay so if we select so let's say you can select any of the things material group any any of the material group we can take okay so we can just take uh, this as the let's say we'll take this one okay so material group will become as a mandatory so here you can maintain some of the text let's say PIR without material okay so with respect to material group also you can create so you can see there is no material is coming directly you can create a purchase info record with respect to a material group okay so directly you can create a info record for that one so there is no difference uh, in the creation or in the fields or anything there will be no changes only you have to create it with a material group so before when we enter the material the material group was coming by default but here you can select the material group and there is no selection for the material so with respect to material group also you can create a purchase info record okay so that's all about your purchase info record this is one thing was left so next we can go to the quota arrangement record okay so today we are going to look into the quota arrangement record so what is a quota arrangement record why we need a quota arrangement record so basically quota arrangement record is uh, a document or we can create a document which will allow to distribute the procurement of material between the multiple sources of vendors okay multiple sources or multiple vendor we can distribute it let's say i want to procure or i want to buy uh, let's say thousand pieces of material let's say any any of the material i want to buy okay so i can buy it from different different kind of vendors or different different kind of suppliers okay let's take a simple example you are going to um, let's say you are going to uh, build a house okay you are going to build a house or you are going to build a any any kind of construction you are going to build okay let's say uh, let's say you went to the suppliers there are three to four suppliers are there in your town or in your locality one person has told you that he can give you the cements okay you are having a requirement cement you said i will need a thousand bags of cement okay so he said i can give you thousand bags of cement i will um, give you at 300 rupees but i can give you the material after one month okay right now i cannot give you i can give you after one month okay it will take uh, time to procure the material and give you second supplier you you went to him you asked the same question he said i will give you on 330 rupees but i can give you after 15 days okay then next let's say you went to one more vendor he said like i will give you in uh, 340 rupees but i can give you immediately okay so what you can do let's say you want to start the production or you want to start the construction right away so how we can do you don't uh, you will not wait for the person who is giving you at a cheaper price for a 30 days to start your construction right let's say an 
example okay now in that case what you need to do you have to distribute in a way so that you can procure the material but you can procure it in a optimum price okay so how you can do that let's say i will give 10 percent of the quota to the who is giving me immediately the material let's say i will give the 20 percent of the quota to the person who is giving me at a immediate price uh, sorry at a intermediate timing and at a intermediate price let's say who is saying 330 rupees and in 15 days you can give a 20 percent of the quota to him so let's say the rest of the let's say how how much percent is went it is uh, 10 plus 20 right 30 percent went let's say i will give the 70 percent of the quota to the third vendor which is saying that he will give me at a 30 uh, 300 rupees per cement bag so what will happen so my work will uh, it will not stop it will start and it will like i i can start my uh, production i can start my work then whenever required i can get the material at a cheaper price at the time when the vendor is supplying so this is just an example of quota arrangement how you can uh, do a quota arrangement why you can do a quota arrangement so how uh, why you should go for a quota arrangement let's say there is um, if you are going for every material if you are going for every material or let's say for one single material you are going to the one single uh, let's say vendor or supplier if you are going to him there will be monopoly will be there so whenever there is a monopoly price will be getting high right so this is the problem of the monopoly so to cut short this monopoly you need to have multiple sources of supply from the multiple um, let's say distribution point you can take the material from them so now let's see how we can create a um, quota arrangement record now we can go to the screen so let's say we will go to the okay let's say we'll go here so now there is no settings or background settings are there for uh, quota element record directly we can create up a quota element record so here you can go to the logistics here you can go to material management purchasing from purchasing you can go to master data in the master data here you can see the quota element so source list we have not seen in the uh, like the tree from the tree we have not seen you can come here so same node you can come to master data here you can see the source list me01 me03 me04 okay these are the t code for source list so here you can see meq1 is for maintain source uh, maintain quota arrangement meq3 is for display meq4 is for changes now if we go here now here you can maintain a material here, here you can enter a material right so let's take this material we are having a material here so with respect to material and plant combination we can create a quota arrangement let's enter okay so here we can enter the material so here we can have a valid to so till when you want to maintain this so date we can enter let's say let's say i will take this date okay till this one so how much quantity split you want to minimum quantity to split so how much quantity will be needed when you are going to activate the quota arrangement let's say for 10 20 products i will not go for multiple vendors let's say whenever there is a quantity will be hit at that point of time it will search for the multiple vendors let's say i will search for take this one minimum quantity let's say when there will be thousand quantity will be there it will be go for the quota arrangement record okay now select this one 
just enter now select this one click on item okay now here you can see here you can maintain a vendor so multiple vendors you can maintain and you can here you can give a quota element percentage okay so let's say i will be giving this vendor so we don't have much vendors created we have only one vendor created so let's say here i will be giving him percentage as let's say i will give three okay so here we have to enter a procurement type so procurement type you can take as a external or you can take as a internal just take as external hit enter so now here you can see only one vendor that's why it is showing as a hundred percent okay we have only entered one vendor if we are going to enter one more vendor let's say okay let's create one more vendor then we can see okay okay so now we will create Okay, this one we have created so now here you can take So here our business partner has been created. Okay, now we can create it for a for a purchasing side. We can create it. Okay, so now can click on purchasing. Enter a purchasing organization. Hit enter. Now just enter this one now we'll go to the general data here there are some uh, entries are there we need to make it now just check this one no issues are there so just go to the vendor okay so okay. number range is internal so we'll not see it right now we'll just create this one okay so we have created the vendor now here you can see this is the vendor we have created this one is the business partner number just we'll save it okay so now let's go there go to the quota arrangement now we will enter this one okay now we will give this as a two let's enter okay so procurement type you have to select so now you can see there is uh, one message is coming as info record for supplier and material does not exist so you have to create a info record for this one so no worries 
we are just entering so these are the warning messages we can skip it if it is an error message then we cannot skip it so now you can see we have entered two vendor if we are entering at the quota as a three so it is going to the 60 percent if we are giving it as a two it is going to 40 percent so in combination so it will be total will be five so five if the five is a hundred then three parts will be 60 two parts will be 40 similarly you can change it to the one percent also enter so here you can see 75 percent 25 percent okay so likewise you can create a quota arrangement record so this is how you can create a quota arrangement record so this is all about the quota arrangement record okay so you can create a quota arrangement record you can create a quota you can try multiple you have to create multiple vendors and you can provide a quota to them okay how you can uh, let's say distribute the purchasing or distribute the uh, bad material between the vendors so you can give it um, you, you can create it over here so that's all about the quota arrangement record so let's meet up again in the next class and we will be moving forward to the purchasing processes so this is all about our master data section so we have completed the organizational data we have completed the master data means the master data we need to go for the purchasing cycle so next is a purchasing cycle we will be starting from the next class okay that's it for today we will be meeting up again in the next class till then bye bye take care and keep learning